Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back everyone. This is Lee with Purple Monkey TCG. Today we got a special episode for you. We found an entire booster box of the eight card packs for Towers in Time. One of our favorites here at Purple Monkey. It is a fun game. Um, it can be a little offsetting just because of the description and the idea behind the game. Basically, it's about a bunch of sorcerers who learn they could travel between dimensions. And it's about the towers they built in between dimensions, basically in the non-dimensional voids. And that is their safe zones where they can practice and keep their magic. Um, the whole idea was that once the power, they built up their power, they figured out it was easier to take someone else's power than it was to gain more in the way of study and practice. So basically they became violent thieves in order to gain power, um, including murder and everything else. So they built their towers in between the dimensions in their own little special safe zone kind of things and no one could touch them when they were in their towers. So that's the whole idea behind the game is to acquire your enemy's power. So, we are going to be opening this entire box. Um, we're going to have to do a two-part series on it. But, we will definitely be putting a Roaring Skies pack in each episode for our Pokemon fans. So, don't miss out on that. Let's get this box opened. Um, don't forget, like, subscribe, get your notifications going. And let's get half this box opened up and out. There. there we go. Okay, so again, plastic is never my friend. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so there it is. Let's go ahead and get this out on the table. Set the box off to the side. We won't be needing that. Okay, so these are eight card booster packs, and we will be opening half of these today and half of these tomorrow. Don't miss out. The Roaring Skies pack will be random at some point in this. In fact, just to throw you guys off, I'm going to throw it in there. You're going to have to wait. Okay. Don't forget, like, subscribe, get your notifications going. Let's see what we've got going in these cards. So here's the description. In the beginning, those that could master going between dimensions thought of it as a novelty. There were worlds to discover, creatures to see, and most importantly, magic to master. But with all these things to keep them busy, there was one thing they did not forget. Power. Soon it was easier to take from others than to find it on your own. The only place to hide was in great magical towers that they built between dimensions. All times in your world and in others are at your disposal. Will you be the last to reign in towers of time? All right. So like I said, definitely pretty cool. This is a 1994 Thunder Castle Games. Alright. So let's get into this. Let's get some of these open. I'm excited. I haven't opened any of these since I was young. So definitely pretty cool that I found another box of them. Here we go. So we're going to be doing the random flip overs again. Alright, so we're just going to flip through these. Um, I was never really impressed much with the artwork. They definitely were um, more on the kind of cheap looking side. But they made up for it with the fun of the game. Um, I don't really remember how to play much. All I remember was I was young. I mean, we're talking maybe 8 to 10 years old. And... 
I was playing mainly just with my uh, one of my best friends. It was his older brother played, and he tried to teach us, and I was the only one that actually paid enough attention because I was into this kind of stuff. So, pretty cool. Uh, bringing back memories. Don't forget, guys, like, subscribe, get your notifications going. Um, I will try and get a video of the play on this game just because I remember it as so much fun. So as soon as I can get some players together, I'll get that video up. Uh, again, I'll be posting a uh, player board at my local game store. So it shouldn't take too long. As you can see, like I said, it's not a very, very good quality on the, um, the game, on the cards, the pictures and stuff. It's very, it kind of reminds me more of like a high school art students kind of work. I mean, they, they definitely put work into it. It just wasn't a high quality, like professional grade type of work. Um, it, it's nothing like, um... Victor below Victor Villegio or Julie Bell as in the Hyborian Gates series but you still have to give it up for the artist they definitely put their work in see you can tell we got paintbrush strokes and stuff like that they definitely put the effort in it just wasn't as high a quality on the artwork but Still, like I said, a really fun game, and I'm definitely being taken back with some of these cards. Seeing lots of beautiful towers. Lots of the same cards over and over again, but that's to be expected. So much flipping. I can't remember if it's because they flipped the rares and stuff like that, or if it was just a bad, bad packaging. I can't really remember, but it doesn't matter. So like I said, we're seeing lots of the same cards over and again, which is fine. Alright, so guys, don't forget... We have our Facebook page. It's up. It's still under construction, but it is available for view. Um, there's not going to be much on that because our our person that deals with that has been having... They haven't been basically in the office for a little while. Uh, but that's besides the point. So as soon as they can get back to it, the page will be up. I mean, it's up now, but we'll be adding stuff to it. We'll also be putting stuff up for sale. We have lots of um, stuff we opened up that we didn't really need. Um, there will be some pins and some extra stuff. Uh, maybe some of the Pokemon coins and stuff. We've got um, packing sleeves or playing sleeves from like Yu-Gi-Oh! And some other stuff. Just keep an eye out. There will always be new stuff. Um... Some of our extra graded cards will be going up there as well. So keep an eye out for those. And don't forget guys, like, subscribe, get your notifications going. If you're getting dizzy from all the flipping, I am too, don't worry. <laughs> so much flipping. I'm going to try and speed this up. we got quite a few of these to get through. So like I said, there's another one. Double in a pack already. But we are seeing some new stuff. So pretty cool on that. Some of these cards I've never seen before. But I only had like three of these packs growing up. So... It wasn't really enough to even play with. Well, we always played with his extra decks.
So pretty neat there. We're going to take a quick break here. I'm going to stack these cards. Okay guys, sorry for that interruption. I had to get the mess cleaned up. You know how it gets with a small desk. This was always one of my favorite cards. I love the way this was drawn. It always reminds me of um, a very cartoony thing I used to watch. I can't remember the name now, but the characters had this big, long, tall head just like that. And it, it just, it always reminded me of that and I loved it. So nothing creepier than a face on a leaf. Um, would not want to see that in real life. Kind of reminds me now of the fact that they're um, basically turning people into trees when they die. Yeah, it's a little weird. Um, they're like eco urns or something like that. Basically, they use your ashes to fertilize a seed and your family goes and plants you. And that's going to, in my mind, create a haunted forest. And that's, that's not something I want to see. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we finally made it to it, the Roaring Skies pack. Don't forget, like, subscribe, notifications guys, I can't stress it enough. You want these code cards, you gotta be the one first here, because you know that other person's gonna beat you to them. Look at that, we got Togepi, always so cute. There it is, Rise, R Spirit Link, yeah! Sorry guys, you know I'm bad with pronunciations. So we're going to take... Oh, I know that's a good one back there. We're definitely going to stick that to the back. And I am going to pull out that card. There we go. Okay, you might have seen it. But we're going to pretend we didn't because I definitely did not look. And there it is. Right to go with the Spirit Link. With the EX. And we got a fairly good cut little off-centered unfortunately that sucks see we got a thin border here thick one here so we're off-center other than that we've got a little minor white on the end from the cutting process but still always nice to see an EX a GX or a super rare secret rare rainbow rare whatever you want to call them but there it is guys there's your code make sure you're the first one to get that all right, let's continue on our Towers in Time adventure. Slide those Pokemon cards out of our view and out of our way so we don't mix them up. Here we go. There's that heal card again. All right. Continuing on, continuing on. Don't forget guys, in the comment section, I want to hear from you. I want to know about some of those fun games you used to play, some of those new obscure games, and some of those classic games that just did not take off. We want different ideas of ones to do episodes on. We want to know why you like them. We want to know what made them great. And we want to know what made them not take off. Also, we definitely want to know about the ones that took off that just no one knows about. New, old, it doesn't matter. We just want to hear about them so we can get some and show you guys and share it with the world. We love trading cards and we want to help promote the industry better. Let me bring that one back. I kind of flipped it real fast there. Okay. Moving on, there's another tower, well, levitate tower. We just got a couple more here to get through.
Don't forget, guys, we have our Facebook page up. Um, it is still under the editing process, but definitely go over there and check out what we've accomplished so far. There is more coming to it. One of the only things that really disappointed me about this game, besides the low quality of the artwork, was the fact that there's just only eight cards per pack. You just, you kind of feel like you're not getting anything out of it. You know, especially with today's packs where you got 15 in the standard pack. Uh, it's kind of like the Yu-Gi-Oh! First Editions where you only get five. At least they made their foil cards. And, of course, First Editions, though most of them aren't really worth what a real First Edition is worth. Um, just because they're easy to get a hold of. But, like some of the other games, Yu-Gi-Oh! just doesn't hold value. Um... You gotta definitely get something good. But really, that's with most games. Alright guys, last two. We'll get through these. Don't forget guys, like, subscribe, and like I said, I want to hear it in those comments. Definitely get out there. Let's get the conversation going. Let's help promote some of those games you like that no one plays, no one knows about, no one's heard about. Definitely the new games that are still in circulation. Well, still in series run, I mean. Because a lot of the games we have are still in circulation. But that's going to be our episode for today. Don't forget, Purple Monkey TCG, I'm Lee, I'm out. Have a nice night, guys.